this is how I want to step into this season of autumn, okay? Baby, you so much you forget the shit that had you worked up. my kindreds welcome back to another video but first and foremost if you are new welcome my name is Najee and I am just going to be showing you guys my everyday go-to makeup routine especially for the winter months because it's getting a little cold here in Atlanta and my skin is mainly normal to dry but definitely in the winter time it gets pretty dry so I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine during the colder so recently I've been using a lot of Kales products mainly because I am now on the Kales PR list so I have the luxury to try out a lot of their products on their line. Therefore I've already cleansed my face but I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare prep routine for my makeup. Typically after I cleanse my face I like to use this rejuvenating facial essence. It's like an oil mixed with lactic acid. So it's lactic acid and squalin oil. I like to use this to basically just help bring some moisture and life back to my skin. And you know, make sure you shake it up very well. I take it, put it on the palm of my hand, and I just press it into my skin like so. And basically, I just let my skin absorb that before I move on to my serums and creams. I then like to use this soft cream from Kills Super Multi Corrective line. This is a very lightweight, a very lightweight cream. So if your skin is more so on the normal side, this is like a perfect cream to apply. I'm just gonna use some eye cream underneath my eyes because Jakindra definitely needs eye cream. This is also part of the Super Multi Corrective line. And my final prep, or my second to last, I guess, final prep is um, the Butter Mask Lips. I absolutely love this from Kale as well because my lips definitely be getting super dry. I don't know if you guys can see right now, but my lips are so dry. It just brings, I swear this lip mask just brings life right back into me. But yeah, I've just kind of been in a funk these past couple of days. And so I figured I'd just tap into some beauty therapy. <laughs> you know how some people have retail therapy. I wanted to do a little beauty therapy. So I went ahead and I applied some tape-ins into my hair. I did my hair. My hair is currently setting right now. I figured I'd just do my makeup. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I forgot to just do my makeup. Get cute. I, mean, I feel like that'll just help me feel better in my life. I went ahead and I did my lashes, and yeah, so we are here. I figured I'd just talk to my kindred, just talk to the camera, and just use my own little personal therapy. <laughs> Insults, name calling, physical abuse, we all think that that's stuff that we would never tolerate in a relationship until we do. And it's about that time that we shine a light on critical issues that affect countless of many women. So, as a creator and as a survivor, I make it my duty to add my voice to Domestic Violence Awareness Month and to share why it's essential to raise awareness and to support survivors like myself. You know, survivors often suffer in silence. For many, the fear of judgment, isolation, and or even their own insecurities keep them trapped. But this month, I encourage us to break that silence, to speak up, and to let other survivors know that they're not alone. If you are a survivor yourself, you know the importance of support. And it's time to remind other survivors that there is help available. Local organizations, support groups, and or even online resources. And if you can, offer your support and understanding to those currently facing domestic violence. You know, taking care of your mental health and well-being is absolutely essential. And I believe that therapy is the first step to emotional healing. Talking to a therapist can help survivors rebuild their self-esteem and a system with setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. I get it. Life is busy. And finding time for an in-person therapy can be a real challenge. But that's why I want to share with you an online counseling platform called BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers the flexibility of assessing professional help from the comfort of your own home. It allows you to communicate with your therapist through messages, chat, phone, 
or video providing you a more comfortable environment for self-expression. Yeah, life doesn't always have a nine to five schedule, but with BetterHelp, you can schedule therapy sessions that fit your lifestyle. Whether you prefer mornings, evenings, or weekends, you have the flexibility to choose. And yeah, I know, traditional therapy can be expensive, but guess what? BetterHelp offers a range of plans to fit different budgets, making mental health support more accessible than ever. And yeah, in times of crisis, immediate support is crucial. Living in Atlanta, sometimes 911 doesn't even answer the phone. I got sent to a voicemail one time. But with BetterHelp, they offer a platform where you can connect with your therapist quickly when you need them the most. Yeah, your mental health is a priority. And BetterHelp makes it easier than ever to take that step towards well-being. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. And seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. So if you're thinking about getting support, I encourage you to consider signing up for BetterHelp. Your journey to a happier and healthier you starts here. And remember, you are worthy. But in the meantime, let's get into some beauty therapy. But yeah, that was my skincare prep routine. And now I'm about to go ahead and get into my makeup. I don't use a primer. <laughs> I haven't been using a primer lately. I've heard some really good things about the milk primer. I heard that, that was like the bomb.com, like the it primer on the market. But I haven't tried it yet. I have been stuck on my Hydrovisor Moisturizer by Fenty. This is definitely just a sunscreen SPF 30, but I like the way it makes my skin feel and I like how my makeup looks on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my sunscreen <laughs> and use that as my primer. Mm, and that just feels so good. My skin is like ready to go. Okay, so I like to do my brows first and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Tip um, Pomade in Dark Brown. And I'm just going to fill in the kind of like sparse areas of my brow. I'm gonna try my hardest to not bring the tail of my brow down. I want to lift them up because I feel like my eyebrows are droopy. But I don't know, we'll see how they come out. But I'm just filling in basically the top and trying to create like a new shape for my brows. So I've been trying to grow my brows out, but um, they're not getting any thicker, which is so crazy because I used to have really thick brows. And to the point where like, I started getting my brows waxed when I was eight, faithfully. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I just put my brows in. Um, like I said, I'm trying not to bring them down as much, but I don't know. We're gonna try. My brows are always a hit, a hit or miss. And then to set my brows, I'm going to be using the Morphe Super Brow Gel. I like to set my brows after filling them in because it's just easier to fill them in <laughs> prior to setting them. Oh, it looks crazy right now, but trust the process. Trust the process. I'm gonna let that dry down and then we're just gonna go across and smooth it out. Okay, so now I'm about to go ahead and even them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer to shape or carve out my brows. So these are my brows, I think they look pretty decent. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip in Dark Brown, and then I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. I love this concealer because of the consistency. It makes it so much easier to carve out my brows. And now I am about to get into my face, but before I do that, I kinda just want to blend this out because I don't want any harsh lines on my face. We're gonna literally blend as we go. So I'm 
just blending that concealer out, smoothing out the edges, and then bam. Now we're about to get into my foundation. So I haven't necessarily found a foundation that truly matches my skin. So I personally mix foundations. So I'm going to be mixing my two foundations. I'm going to be using my Fenty 420 in the shade of 420 and I'm going to be using my MAC um, foundation in NC50. Damn, I didn't even realize I was running low because I haven't really been wearing makeup lately. Um, actually, that one's lighter than the Fenty. But this one's more neutral. So <laughs> I just gotta go foundation shopping because this foundation is more neutral than the Fenty one. The Fenty one is a little bit on the warmer side, like this, what the Fenty um, 425. This one's a little bit more orange and it has like a really, really, really warm undertone. While the MAC Studio Fix foundation, which is NC50, is more so on the cooler olive side. So, yeah, we're just gonna hope that I've never done this before. I have to go makeup shopping. I have to go foundation shopping. I gotta go hunting for like a foundation. If y'all have any suggestions, like y'all favorite go-to foundations, put them down in the comment box below because you can enjoy definitely be some help. But um, yeah, this is my first time doing this. So we're about to see what this is going to look like all together. <laughs> But what if this just turns out to be my perfect match? <laughs> I'm just going to take this um, foundation brush and I'm not blending it, I'm basically just applying it. I do like for my foundation to get a little bit dry um, before I get the blending because I really want a full coverage look. I'm not going to take it all the way up to my under eye because we are going to be putting concealer and I don't want um, a lot of product underneath my eyes. Therefore, I'm just going to let that do its thing. I'm, I'm debating whether or not I want to do a um, like everyday eyeshadow look or if I want to do a no eyeshadow look. I don't know. We're just going to wing it. To blend out my foundation, I do like to use a brush. I prefer to use a brush. So I'm just going to be using this brown foundation brush to blend out my foundation <laughs> it's literally called a round foundation brush I think I got it off of Amazon like I said I'm not going to drag it all the way up to my under eye because I am going to put on some concealer and I don't want that much product underneath my eye especially because that's where a lot of creasing happens if you're not careful and then I don't put foundation on my forehead I just take whatever is left on my um, brush and I just go in with that on my forehead. Now I am going to go in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer. I just really, really, really like the consistency. I'm gonna go in with that underneath my eye. Even if I'm not going to do an eyeshadow look, I like to give the illusion that I have like some sort of like natural cat eye going on. So I like to go upwards with my concealer. And then once I blend it out, you're gonna see that it looks like I have like a little cat eye situation. Smoky cat eye situation because my um, top of my eyelids are a little dark compared to obviously underneath my eye and the rest of my face. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna highlight my chin. You want a little focal, focal point right there. And then I'm going to highlight the center of my forehead. Um, I'm gonna let that dry out a little bit. I like for my concealer to dry as well because I really, well not dry, but dry a little bit. <laughs> because I want full coverage underneath my eye. I'm recording with the Sony ZV-1. I'm so glad that um, Brandon fixed my Canon G7X because my Canon does not give me the issue that the Sony is forever giving me, which is this overheating thing. My camera's about to overheat. I'm gonna have to shut it down 
So, which is perfect because while this dries, I'll let my camera cool down and then we'll get back to recording. But when he gets here next week, he's gonna also bring my camera. So, Najee's gonna have two cameras. I'm so happy. I'm gonna have my Canon and my Sony, which they both have their pros and they both have their cons, but I'll have the both of them, which will make the perfect camera. Like, both of them together makes the perfect camera. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so to blend out my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M173 brush, and you want to be um, very extremely light-handed when blending out your concealer. So I just keep my hand at the tip of the brush, and I just blend like so. to go ahead and just create that sharp line because it gives that natural cat eye look and I also put the concealer on the side of my nose up the side of my nose as well and like I said I like to try to blend as I go because I don't it just makes life hell a lot easier <laughs> when you blend as you go kind of like cleaning as you go when you're cooking Clean as you go, it just makes life so much easier in the end. Whatever is left over on the brush, um, I just take and I put it over the top of my lip. Just blending out those harsh lines as I go, it just makes life so much easier. I'm trying not to go over my beauty marks. I have a mole right there. And I, I want my mole to be seen, so. Yeah. Okay, so that is for the first layer of concealer. Now I am about to go in with some contour before I go back underneath my eyes with the concealer. Now for my contour, I'm gonna be using this cream concealer stick um, from Merit in the shade of Umber. And I'm just gonna drag it along the top of my cheekbone and then the sides of my temple. So cheekbones, temple, and then on top of my nose, as such mm -hmm. and then obviously my jawline but at the bottom of my jawline we want to create that shadow effect and then of course we're going to contour our forehead and now I'm about to take this um, a fluffy brush and Morphe I can't really see it's already I can't really see what it is it's scratched off I think it's the M554 brush and I'm just going to blend out my contour. I'm going to blend upwards and not downwards because we want the we want to give the illusion of having high cheekbones and not bring down our face. So and then to blend out around my hairline I'm going to blend into my hairline instead of like towards my face. And then to blend out my nose contour, I am going to be using the M164 brush. I love Morphe brushes. I mean, that's like my go-to. I have a few like random other brushes that like I said, I got from Amazon, but mainly I just, it's just so easy for me to just run to Morphe and use and pick up their brushes. And plus they're affordable too. There's not much product, but the contour on my nose. And that wasn't really the smartest thing for me to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna recontour my nose. But whatever. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe Filter Effect Concealer, actually. And this is in um, Rich 26 Cool. It's a cool concealer. And I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes here. And then I'm also going to bring it out again the sides because I really want to give that cat eye that natural cat eye effect and then I'm going to take some and I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose because like I said I didn't put any concealer on my nose and then I'm going to put a tip here because I really want 
to give like a button nose effect. And I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm going to also go up the sides of my nose. Get my brush. I'm going to blend that out again with my brush. You could use a, a beauty blender, but I just prefer the brush because I just like how precise the brush is and I like the coverage that the brush gives me because when I use a beauty blender or when you use a beauty blender, a lot of the product is being picked up by the beauty blender from your face. So, I don't know, I just prefer the brush. It's so fun doing your makeup without, or it's so fun doing my makeup without a wig on because I don't have to worry about my lace. Oh my God. Oh my dear. That is so stressful. Okay, I literally just blended. <laughs> I literally just put concealer all over my goddamn nose. Don't mind me, y'all. I mean, it is like damn near now, 11 o'clock at night doing makeup so <sighs> do my best here do my best I'm just gonna blend that out up in here and then we're going to recontour we're gonna recontour our nose because we kind of messed up earlier it doesn't have to be too dark because I'm going to add bronzer um, onto my face as well as the con like the areas that I've contoured I'm gonna use a bronzer so that'll like deepen the shade more and now I'm about to go ahead and set my face and we're going to bake we're gonna set and bake set and bake but first we're gonna set and we're like I said I like to blend as I go so I'm just gonna blend out this little area right here blend out that little area right there and uh, bam now I am about to go ahead and um, Set my face. So I'm going to set. My, I'm going to <laughs> look. I'm going to set my face. No, I'm going to set my face. Um. First, I'm going to be using this. Um. What is this actually? This dark golden prolonged wear pressed powder. I'm basically, going to be setting every single wear that I highlighted around my mouth where the smile lines are and then my chin okay and then also to my nose and then of course my forehead okay so now I'm going to bake this is the fun part I'm gonna bake I have to, okay, so on my to-do list, I have to find me a new foundation, then I have to find me a um, setting powder that does not give me flashback, okay? So I created my own little concoction that I feel like is a perfect shade for me, and I mix my MAC Loose Setting Powder, and then I mix it with the... Um, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier <laughs> in Translucent Honey. And then I also mixed it with my um, Too Faced setting powder, y'all. This is like three different setting powders in one, but it's the perfect color combo for setting underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna use this triangle, triangle sponge from Amazon. And we are going to bake. I'm going to go up the side of my nose. And then we're going to bring it out. We want to give the illusion that we have like a natural ring going on here. That's like my thing, okay? And then we're going to do the same on the other side. I used to not care about, like, not not care, but I used to be super messy with this part, basically setting underneath my eyes. I didn't think it really mattered, but precision is definitely key when you are baking to having, like, a flawless, a flawless look. Then I'm 
I'm gonna get the side of my nose. I want that to be very distinct and clear. And a little, my little button. And then I'm going to can't find my powder brush but I'm gonna take this huge ass brush because I can't find my powder brush I got the access as much as I can this brush is huge and I'm just gonna kind of just brush all over my face to kind of like set my the rest of my face Set my contour. I'm going to be using this um, Ruby's Kisses uh, powder foundation. Actually, I just love the shade. I'm going to take the same brush that I used to apply my contour to set it. See, that's just beautiful. That is just so beautiful. Okay, darling. Mind you, finger at the tip. We want to be light. We want to be light with our face we want to be gentle gentle with our face yeah yes honey she looks good darling she looks freaking amazing just setting 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 contour don't worry we're going to also be um going in with some bronzer as well good so far this is looking very good thus far and now I'm going to go in with some bronzer but I'm going to use a powder bronzer and this is thick mint by Fenty typically where we will put our highlight is where I'm going to put the bronzer I don't know if you guys can even tell Okay, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to set all of that stuff that I just put on my face into my skin. Whoop. So I'm going to let that set and then we're going to get into highlight. I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter in the corner, in the corners of my eyes and probably do like a little bit um, as like an eyeshadow and then some highlighter onto my cheekbones because I want to give a little bit of a glaze down of it. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite, my, I don't even know if they make this anymore, this is like my all-time favorite highlighter. It's by Avon True Color. It is in Moonlight and this highlighter is, is the bomb.com. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm going to just place a little bit of that onto my cheekbone right where I place the bronzer just give myself a little highlight and I'll bring it up here and then do the same on this side up a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little bit on the tip of my cute little button nose that I tried to create and then I'm gonna take this little, little round brush and I'm going to apply the highlighter onto the inner corners of my eye. And I'm also just going to apply it in the inner, I guess the inside of my, just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of just like blend it out. And that is gonna be it for my eyes. I'm not gonna do much to my eyes because I didn't want to do like an eye look. And that is that. So the face is giving what it needs to give. It's giving very much dewy, very moisturizing. You can't even tell that I have dry skin because the skin is definitely 
glowing. First one that I used was the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now this helps um, your makeup set into your skin. And then I'm going to now use the Morphe Jumbo Continuous Prep and um, Set Mist. So this is kind of like a fixed spray where it definitely locks in your makeup and it allows your makeup to last much longer. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and spray that onto my face. I wish I had a fan with me. <laughs> and then we're just going to let that dry and then I'm going to now go in with some mascara for my under eye. I personally love the Bad Gal Bang mascara. That's like my number one mascara. Up until <laughs> I, I came across the Fenty Beauty uh, mascara, this is hella thick, this is in hella thick, and this mascara is the bomb dot freaking calm. Like, my bottom lashes, I was like, I'm thinking that my bottom lashes are like, are like disappearing, I don't know. But once I started using this mascara, I was like, oh my god, my I really have like a lot of like bottom lashes, like they're visible with these hella thick with this hella thick um, mascara and uh, yeah i don't know if you guys can see but the lashes are definitely giving at the bottom now like they are they are damn near visible do you think i i feel like when i'm looking in the camera it looks like that i have like on a bottom liner but i don't these are definitely just my lashes using the um, mascara and now we're about to get into the lip for today i am going to be using the charlotte tilbury um lip liner and pillow talk i absolutely love this i don't personally overline my lips uh, i just don't think it looks right on me or maybe i'm just not doing it right so i just follow the shape of my um, natural lip yeah I just follow the shape of my natural lip and then I'm just gonna let that set as well I feel like when I let my lip liner dry a little bit before I apply my lip gloss then it just works better but yeah my skin is definitely giving everything that it needs to give it's definitely giving dewy healthy i'm glowing the skin is just giving okay honey oh shit now yeah <laughs> but for my lip though this is new to me like i like to use my mac lip glosses like i'm a mac girl i just love mac lip glosses but I got um, a wind, a taste of Grande Lips, Lip Plumpers, and they're trending on TikTok right now, but I was um, lucky, fortunate enough to get onto their PR list, so they sent me a few of their um, lip plumpers in different shades, and the one that I used first was the clear one, which is the Bob Knockoff. But I recently started using this one. It is in the shade of Barely There. And this color is just so beautiful. I love it. Combines with this lip liner. Like the combo is just so cute. And then it also plumps my lips at the same time. So it's like, what? Yeah. So I like to use this. But my camera's about to overheat again. So, oh yeah. Just look at that. Do y'all see that shade? That shade is so cute. I just love it. And then I'm going to take a little flat brush and I'm just going to blend it out. It's so crazy how loud outside is right now. You would think I'm on the ground floor how loud that is. Yeah, that is my little lip combo and 
So now I'm about to just let go of my hair and then do a little one two one two. Uh, tonight I'm going to be recording a try on haul for lounge. So if you guys are interested, check out that video as well. I love lounge loungewear and underwear. It is a bomb.com. But yeah, this is my everyday. Well, I'm not gonna say everyday because every day I don't even wear makeup. But this is like my go-to makeup look. How about that? I mean, we finesse bits and pieces of it. But generally, like this is what I do during the colder seasons because my skin gets really, really dry. And I absolutely love it because my skin looks so good. Makeup looks so good, so dewy. I'm vibrant, radiant. Like it's just giving everything that it needs to give. And it's going to last, okay? It's going to last for at least, I say about at least eight, nine hours. You know what I'm saying? And that's all we need because half the time I'll be in the house anyways and when I step out, I'm only out for like four five hours and then a couple more hours to take my pictures and then bam. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down and do a little one-two and I'll be back. Okay, now to the other fun part. So basically, I just curl my hair and then I put them in to these um, Velcro rollers and the curls just come out so flawless and they last longer i should have definitely sprayed my hair i'm going to be spraying my hair with the um super whole finishing spray by kenra in the level of 25. my first time using these type of rollers typically I just um typically I would just like pin my hair like after I curl it I would like pin it and the curls just come out so beautiful but this is like my first time using this and I'm, I'm still loving it I think these are this is this is super cute I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not, or if I like the pin curls better or the Velcro better. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be the test for real, for real. <laughs> the bang area. definitely now needs some layers and it's so crazy because I used why didn't use a small one I used the close to small ones I think I like the pin curls better honestly I think I like my pin curl method honestly I think this might be good for if my hair was longer oh they're still I mean it's still giving what it needs to give I think I just need to put more layers in my hair and I was trying not to do short layers I wanted to keep my layers long but I'm gonna do no this is looking pretty decent this is looking pretty darn good oh shit now oh yeah okay hair yeah Najee you did it Okay, yes, add a little bit of oil sheen because that look kind of, that little area look kind of dry. Okay, yes, now I am really feeling good. Y'all know earlier I was not feeling the greatest, but now I am feeling like the bomb dot mother freaking god oh, oh yes the hair looks good hair looks good makeup is looking absolutely beautiful hold on yes the hair is looking absolutely amazing makeup is looking flawless this is how i want to step into the season of autumn okay Yes, this is how we're supposed to step into the season of autumn. 
hair looking fabulous darling makeup looking fabulous darling skin looking fabulous darling we just also you just we're just freaking fabulous okay so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my little cluster freak of a makeup tutorial <laughs> and hair tutorial and yeah if you are not part of the kindred family go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can become a part of the kindred family and hit that bell notification button too so that way you don't miss out on another upload and i will see you guys in my next video Better love you so much you forget the shit that had you worked up.